Hello and welcome to another exciting edition of Fingerprinting Gurus. My name is Tommy Watkins, your instructor, here for a new and exciting topic this week. Before I get started, I'd like for everyone to go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button and that notification bell so you too can continue to receive content like this each and every week that will not only help assist you in your ink card uh, fingerprinting business and as an entrepreneur in your mobile ink card fingerprint business as well. This week's topic seven background check myths. Uh, first, we'll start with myth number one for us, our background checks. It takes a long time to do a background check. Ladies and gentlemen, that could be uh, really further from the, um, the truth. Well, because many employers fear that conducting background checks will slow down uh, their hiring process. So they opt to, vo to forego this crucial uh, stage. The truth of the matter is that background checks aren't as time consuming as uh, one would think. Depending on the type of background screening process, most background checks can complete in three days or less in as little as uh, 24 hours. Myth number two, background check companies are all the same. Again, that is, that, that's far from the truth too. Uh, all background companies provide something uh, different in regards to their services. So one must uh, select uh, these uh, companies very carefully when uh, uh, trying to uh, take on a new hire. And of course, within the United States alone, there are over um, 1,800 background screening companies all claiming to be able to uh, give you the most accurate and best service. However, each background screening company has its own set of characteristics. And as an employer, it is critical uh, to understand how to separate the finest from the others. And of course, compliance is one of the most uh, important reasons to choose a background uh, check company. Why is this, um, why? because rules and regulations and of course local and state laws are constantly changing. It is critical to choose a respected background um, that lowers your um, liability risk and assure uh, compliance. And of course, um, as a business owner myself, you, you want to try to mitigate risk uh, any way it's possible. So, uh, you could have lower insurance costs due to you opting to uh, take on having your uh, your your employees or contractors uh, background screen. That that can only help you in a, in a positive way, and it's also going to help you to from potentially uh, bad hires, basically. Uh, so I'm gonna digress from that and then move forward. I just wanted to also add uh, my my insight on that is uh, as well. Background check compliance is uh, embedded into, um, of course, uh, background technology and services on behalf of the employer or or platform distributed the appropriate notice, including uh, pre-adverse and adverse action notices. Our knowledgeable teams ensure that uh, your business remain compliant no matter where it is located. And of course, um, number three, identity verification is the same for our background check providers. Well, the majority of our comprehensive background uh, checks in the United States uh, begin with uh, what is known as a, the National Social Security uh, Number Trace. This is a database comprising of thousands of resources, including magazine subscriptions, utility bills, online accounts, and of course, credit histories, uh, can be used to conduct this search. Look for uh, background check companies that obtain uh, the National uh, Social Security uh, number trace uh, from a database that has information from thousands of sources. Uh, that way, you're more likely to find a complete, a complete address history. Number four, background checks are necessary for uh, small to mid-sized uh, businesses. That is 
far from you uh, my opinion you, you need to regardless of the size you want to mitigate any type of risk get a background check you you cannot uh go wrong <laughs> of course another prevalent misunderstanding is that only major corporations require background checks small and mid-sized businesses appreciate hiring the right people just as much as big businesses uh do because the average cost of a bad hire is over 15,000 smaller businesses are more vulnerable to revenue loss as a result of hiring the incorrect person as a result background checks are critical to any business trying to uh, make an informed hiring uh, selection and of course myth number four background checks are for small and mid-sized firms are unnecessary this is another common misconception is that only major corporations are required to do a background check small to medium uh, sized firms like large corporations value recruiting the right people small organizations are more exposed to revenue loss as a result of the hiring of the wrong person because uh, the average cost of a bad hire costs over fifteen thousand dollars ladies and gentlemen and as a result a background check uh, are essential for every company that wants to make an educated hiring decision um, many uh, well when requesting uh, individuals uh, personal motor vehicle records there are a number of um, a number of different uh, state restrictions to be mindful of uh, to ob obtain a motor vehicle uh, report in certain states you uh, must have a uh, have the client to sign a particular release form these release documents must be kept on file in case of an audit uh, before your organization can perform uh, I say a driving record uh, for his, your state regulations require either a one-time sign affidavit or a specific release form for each candidate each time a driving record is sought again certain states only allow certain legal objections before granting access to driving data without uh, a specific release form and of course uh, within um, your state uh, employment employment or contract laborers are both acceptable options uh, to stay in compliance with um, your specific state uh, the organization would need to run an additional background service such as a criminal history uh, check and of course finally um, for myth number five uh, finally unless a person uh, possess a commercial driver's license not all states share driving history information with other states if you if you if you are an applicant uh, has recently moved and is uh, providing you with a new license number in that current state uh, or residence you should request three years of driving license numbers when it comes to buying a motor vehicle report it is critical to choose a background check uh, vendor who is up to date on all the, the laws regulations and best practices so that your partner in the navigation navigating uh, of the restrictions number six for us the myth uh, number six uh, background checks are solely required for pre-employment purposes pre-employment uh, screeners are a terrific uh, guarantee that the organization will hire uh, safe and qualified people but what happened after they've been hired over the next you know five years 12 percent of the workforce may be arrested therefore it is it, it is it is within your company's uh, best interest um, to conduct continuous monitoring to keep your firm secure continuous monitoring is the process of screening and monitoring personnel file for hazard and safety concerns on a regular basis continuous monitoring in a particular uh, crucial crucial in certain areas such as the gig economy where companies such as uber lyft rely on their employees to have clean driving histories
And of course, myth number seven, a candidate um, criminal background will automatically disqualify them uh, for a job. Well, sometimes that could, that's, that's, that could be true, but that could also be false as well, just depending on the offense. And of course, another thing would be be contingent upon the, the state the state guidelines or the employer guidelines in regards um, to uh, want to make that hire. Um, many job searchers are concerned uh, that their criminal uh, records may jeopardize their prospects of being hired. The Fair Credit Reporting Act, FCRA, mandates firms firms to undertake unfavorable action and allow candidates to defend their conduct. Whereas the Equal Employment Opportunity Commission, known as EOC, enforces federal anti-discrimination uh, legislation. Uh, many businesses now evaluate a variety of factors when reviewing a candidate's uh, criminal history, including the sort of offenses and whether or not it is related to the employment. Background checks uh, exist to assist companies in safeguarding their health and safety. It is uh, critical to select a reliable partner who can give you legal, compliant, and correct information as promptly as feasible. Do you want to, uh, of course, if you want to learn uh, more in regards to that, I can provide you some in-depth uh, knowledge. It's just, uh, just a seven myth myths uh, provided in regards uh, to this and I'll be happy to uh, assist you. Um, this, this is pretty much all I have uh, this week for us debunking the seven background check myths. Uh, if you have any questions, please comment in the box down below. Hit the like and subscribe button, notification bell. It costs you nothing, ladies and gentlemen, uh, to hit that like button. The, that like button will help not only myself uh, to bring uh, quality content, but to help that YouTube algorithm to help reach out to the to others out there seeking to obtain um, more and additional information as relates to ink card fingerprinting and other things that are uh, that that's related to it. Uh, my name is Tommy Watkins of Fingerprinting Gurus. I definitely will uh, see you all on the next new and exciting edition. Thank you.